Last summer, I took this photo on a potato farm at 6 o'clock in the morning. I had the chance to observe what farm workers do during a potato harvest. Here we see workers removing debris from potatoes as they go by on a conveyor belt. Now, I've been taught that agriculture is one of the most hazardous industries, but this was the first time being out there before dawn watching this work that I really understood why that is. It was freezing that morning, and in just a few hours, it would be blazing hot. I saw multiple places the workers could fall or get hurt, and of course, they may be exposed to chemical hazards, like pesticides, which is the topic of my presentation today. I care about farm workers because they're such a vulnerable population for a number of social and cultural reasons, but also because their work puts them at a high risk for pesticide exposure, which can cause numerous illnesses. Initially, I wondered, what are we doing to help this population? Are there any laws or regulations in place? And the answer is yes, there is a federal regulation called the Worker Protection Standard, or the WPS for short. And within this WPS are dozens of individual requirements for the farm owner to comply with. In other words, it's the responsibility of the boss to comply with the WPS, not the farm workers. And this is a good thing. They're required to do things like train their workers in pesticide safety, provide personal protective equipment, communicate when pesticides have been sprayed in the fields. All of these and more are requirements with which farm workers, farm owners should be complying. But are they? That's my big picture research question. To answer this, I am collaborating with the Idaho State Department of Agriculture, or the ISDA. They're the ones who actually go out to farms across the state and monitor WPS compliance. I am cleaning, coding, and analyzing the results of over 800 of those inspections, dating back to 2000. These inspections have always been done on a case-by-case -case basis, but what I bring to the table is an opportunity to assist the ISDA by analyzing these inspections as a collective whole. Already, I've identified that the parts that farm owners have the most trouble complying with the parts of the WPS that talk about this central location. This means farm owners should be physically posting pesticide safety information in a location for farm workers to access. But my data tells me that's not always happening and so farm workers may not always have the information they need to keep themselves safe. My research is unique because I'm focused on a population that's both underserved and understudied, but also because I'm the first to describe the parts of this giant WPS that should be prioritized. But my results are meaningless if they're not shared with the right audience. So I will be presenting my findings to the ISDA and to farm owners who attend WPS training sessions throughout Idaho. I believe that my work will not only increase awareness and improve compliance with the WPS, but will more importantly improve the health and safety of farm workers. Thank you.